Club Express Answer Types There are many times when you may need to collect information. Sometimes it's just about rounding out a member's profile with additional data that's relevant to your club or organization. These questions may be used to establish qualifications, certifications, or experience. In some enthusiast clubs, they use to determine what product the member uses to enjoy his or her hobby, and other clubs it's a way for members to know more about each other. Other times, it could be to help move a project forward, perhaps as part of an event registration process, or soliciting speakers and abstracts for an annual conference. To get this information in Club Express, several functions, events, surveys, ad hoc forms, collectibles, polls, and additional member data let you ask questions. Then, members and or non-members can supply the answers. In most cases, you present questions and choose from any of the many answer types. We'll explore them all, including text, dates, selection lists, check boxes, and radio buttons. Polls are the exception. They only use radio buttons. Most of the answer types can be flagged as required. This is done either by setting a required option in the answer settings, or in some cases by specifying a minimum number of selections for that answer, for example, in a set of checkboxes. During data entry, a red dot appears to signify that the answer is required. The examples assume that you're logged in as an administrator or coordinator, and perhaps using the survey module to add questions. When adding a question, the fields presented depend on which function is being used, but they always require the question text, which is displayed to the user, and an answer type, which formats the way the user can answer the question. Now let's look at each of the answer types in detail. The heading instruction text type displays only as text. No response is allowed, and it's the only type that does not optionally allow comments. You might place one heading above all of the other questions, introducing and explaining the reason for filling out the questions. Or you might use this as a section heading for a group of related questions, for example, those displayed in a scale format where the user is expressing their opinions about several items. Short text is a single line text field. A maximum answer length is required and you can optionally supply a default answer. We'll come back to formatted text in a moment. Long text allows longer text that wraps to multiple lines. A maximum answer length is required and you can optionally supply a default answer. There are several date formats. Date year shows a drop-down list showing four-digit numbers. You can optionally specify the default year and the minimum and maximum year values. Date month shows a drop-down list showing the months of the year spelled out. You can optionally specify the default month. Date day shows a drop-down list showing the numbers 1 through 31. You can optionally specify the default day. Date full shows a text field with a calendar icon that displays a pop-up date picker. You can optionally specify the minimum and maximum date values. Day of week shows the drop-down list showing the days of the week. You can optionally specify the default day. Time of day shows a text field with a clock icon that displays a pop-up time picker as well as arrow icons that let the user move the time up or down by the hour or in five-minute increments. You can optionally specify the earliest and latest time values. Integer shows a text field that accepts integer values. You can optionally specify a default and the minimum and maximum values. Number shows a text field that accepts numeric values that can include decimal parts. You can optionally specify the minimum and maximum values. A checkbox list shows a vertical list of checkboxes. Any and all of the items can be selected. You enter the items to be displayed in the list, each on a separate line. Press Enter to move to the next line as you're entering items. You can optionally specify the minimum and maximum number of selections that can be made and whether an additional other choice should be added below the items you specify for the list. If the member selects other during data entry, a text box appears where the user can enter additional information for the answer. Selecting the Allow Other option is useful for situations where you want to allow users to enter something different. For example, in an election where you're allowing write-in votes. 
The select list shows a drop-down list showing the choices in the order entered. Just as shown in the checkbox list, you enter items to be displayed in the select list, each on a separate line. At least two items must be specified. If you wanted to find an initial default answer on the list, add a tilde character to the beginning of that line. The optional other choice adds a checkbox to the bottom of the list and when checked, displays a field for data entry. Radio buttons show a vertical list of radio buttons. Only one can be selected. Enter the items to be displayed in the list, each on a separate line. You can enter just one entry, and to define an initial default answer, add a tilde to the beginning of that line. You can optionally choose to add an other choice to the bottom of the list. True false shows two radio buttons. Only one can be selected. You specify the true text and the false text and optionally choose to set an initial default or no default. Note that once you've put in the possible selections for a checkbox, select list, or radio button answers, and people have answered the question, do not reorder the items. If you do reorder them, and someone had previously selected the second item on the list, and that item is now moved to the fourth item, what will be selected is the new second item. Multiple text boxes displays a vertical list of text fields. Any text can be entered into each field. You enter the number of text boxes to be displayed and the maximum length of each answer. You can optionally set the minimum number of values that must be entered. This could be useful for nominating multiple people to a committee or perhaps to suggest several names for a new publication. In this example, we have also enabled comments, which can be added to several of the answer types, so the user can optionally enter notes about their choices. There are two answer types that require a bit more explanation, scale and formatted text. Scale presents a horizontal list of radio buttons representing the strength of a respondent's opinion. Enter the text to be displayed above each radio button, each entry on a separate line. The number of lines determines the number of radio buttons for the row. At least two entries must be defined. You can choose whether the results are stored using the values, which are the column headings, or using a number. If you elect not to store numbers, the actual column headings for the chosen radio button is stored. If you elect to store numbers, the first value, column heading, is treated as 1. The second value is treated as 2, etc. For example, if you choose to store numbers, poor, fair, good, excellent will be reported as 1, 2, 3, and 4. And a scale of 0 to 10 will be reported as 1 to 11 because the first one is 0. Scale questions can have any number of levels representing the strength of the respondent's opinion. They are also often displayed in groups with a single heading and selections common to the group of questions. In this example showing a group of scale questions, you should begin with the heading instruction text question. This becomes the overall question heading. Then enter the second question as a scale type. Keep the question text short since it appears as the text to the left of the radio buttons. The values you specify become the column headings that you want to use for all of the questions in the group. You should copy the column headings into the clipboard. Then when you specify each subsequent question, you can paste these values in so they match. If the values don't match, perhaps because of a misspelling or to denote a similar but new question, a new header is created. To make it easier to create a group of scale questions that have the same properties, there is a button in the Surveys, Collectibles, and ad hoc forms modules called add scale question. You fill in the question text, question prompts, and column headings. When you save the form, the information is automatically parsed into the regular answer types. It creates a heading instruction, followed by scale questions for each of the question prompt lines. If necessary, you can then edit the questions, for example, to make a question not required. This can save you a lot of time when creating groups of questions. And finally, we come back to the formatted text answer type. 
This presents the text field to the user and controls which characters the user can enter. You must choose from one of these predefined formats. Numbers only, which includes spaces and hyphens. Letters only, including spaces and hyphens. Numbers and letters, plus spaces and hyphens. Email address, a web address, which is the URL, a US phone number, US zip code, Canadian postal code, Australian postal code, UK postal code, and custom. When you select the custom option, fields appear that allow you to define and test the custom format. This is useful for experienced software developers. This option uses a feature of many programming languages called a regular expression. With this feature, you define a format string using dot characters, alternation, grouping, character classes, quantifiers, word boundaries, anchors, and lookaheads. At runtime, this format string then defines what the user can enter into the field. Regular expression syntax is subtly different in different programming languages. Club Express uses the syntax defined by JavaScript. Now an important note. The custom expressions feature is for experienced software developers only. Regular expressions can be as simple or as complex as you want them to be, but there's a significant learning curve. Club Express cannot provide support for individual regular expressions that are not working as you might want them to work. For more information about regular expressions, see these websites. So now you've seen the many ways Club Express lets you format answers to questions and how you can use them in your club or organization. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.